quilty friends. I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome to day 16. Today we'll be stitching with my four in one machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching. I'll begin by stitching point to point curves starting in the upper corner and working my way across the block point to point all the way around this block. Notice and remember as I stitch out any design that's point to point but I'll want to hold my machine quilting ruler a quarter of an inch away from the point that I do want to intersect. After I've stitched around the outside that first set of arcs I'm going to move in and stitch a second set on the inside. This is what will really, really dress up this design and make it look beautiful. After I've stitched around one time, then I will move in, stitching along my previous stitch line a half an inch. Now, when I moved in a half an inch on that stitch line, you'll notice that I'm now adjusting my machine quilting ruler so that the first marked curved line is intersecting or laying right on top of my previous stitch line. From there, I'll stitch all the way across to the next stitch line. Then I'll travel along that corner using the side of my machine quilting ruler, stitching very slowly so that I can stitch right on top of that previous stitch line. And then I'll stitch a second set of curved lines working my way all the way around that block until I have that second set. You'll notice the fun little diamond that's created in the corner creates a lot of interest. After that, I'll stitch in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block to finish off this design. I hope you enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.